to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking play. Welcome back to Who To Be A Terrier. It's episode 16 of our series in Football Manager with the mighty Huddersfield Town. And Merry Christmas in June. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's the 23rd of December 2018 in game. Um, so today we have a massive, massive top of the table clash. Uh, it's also the um, the return fixture against Reading, who we played on the opening day of this season. Um, it's the top two meeting each other at the Medeski Stadium. So let's get straight into the schedule and let's show you what has been going on. So, of course, we beat Burt's Sheffield Wednesday in the last game in a rather poor match. Um, following on from that, we went to Preston and we got absolutely spanked. Um, we lost 4-1. We did let in two in... Stoppage time. Um, we had got it back to one all with nine minutes to go, believe it or not. And then we lost 4-1. So that went well. Um, but then we had a little run of good results. So a 1-0 win at home against Brentford, where Philip Billing scored the goal. Um, a frustrating draw against uh, lowly Sunderland. He was goalless. We just couldn't make the breakthrough. You can see Alex Pritchard had a brilliant game. Uh, we had a lot of chances. It was quite an even game in terms of shots and everything. Um, a nil-nil probably fair or a draw was probably fair um but i think both teams should probably have scored then aston villa came to the john smiths and we sent them packing with a 4-0 defeat uh, lauren departure alex pritchard an own goal from conor hurihan and an aaron moy penalty gave us the 4-0 win and then we went away to blackburn and we came back from a goal down against 10 men, Stipe Perica and Amin Yunus getting the goals. It was one of those, it was a scrappy win, it was a hard-fought win. Even with 10 men, we were struggling, but we got the breakthrough in the end. And today, as you can see, we play Reading, who are second we are top. Uh, it's the final game. It's on Sunday, although I don't think... Did we just check the schedule? I don't think. No, it's not on the TV. So maybe the rugby team were playing on the Saturday. I think there's a rugby team that play at the midday ski, isn't there? Or there used to be. I don't know if there still is. Um, so looking at the table, you can see QPR. That was going to be the game that we played um, in this video, but Reading a second, um, and QPR had just lost. Actually, you can remember they were on that ridiculous run, weren't they? Look at this. Massive, massive run all the way back to September, unbeaten. Finally lost at home to West Brom. Um, um, but I've just followed it up with a win against Derby. So the fact that their unbeaten run ended, I thought, yeah, maybe maybe we won't play them. If they would still been unbeaten at the moment, we possibly would have done. But top two clash. I don't really like playing the same team um, again in a video, but it's got to be done. We are the top two. It should be a fantastic video. And just look at James Wilson. He is smashing the goals in now. 17 goals he's got in the league in just 14 appearances. He is absolutely smashing the goals. We are definitely keeping an eye on his situation with a possible look to getting him in for next season. Um, so the transfer window opens in a week, so there's nothing else to show you. So let's get straight to the match. Here are the two lineups, and oh, Manoni in goal for Reading, uh, Gunter, Moore, McShane, Bakuna, Kelly, Chirivella, Jordan Abita, Jonathan Swift, uh, Popa, and Bodvarsson up top. So for us, we've got Daniel Oya, Fernandez in goal, Chris Lerva, Bichacic, Kalas, and Ryan Fredericks at the back, Phil Billing and Aaron Moy in midfield, and then Fidel, Ayothi Perez, James Forrest backing up Stipe Perica. They've got quite an old back line there, it seems, and I think we can really get at them today. It's going to be a tough match. Um, it's going to be a really interesting match, I think. I think it could be a really, really good one. Um, so we are going to say... Actually, we're going to say Reading coming to this one second in the form table whilst we're sixth. It's time to start improving. Let's do that and, let, and let's follow that up saying, I've got faith, um, which isn't going quite as well as I would have liked. But it's on the pitch that matters. Come on, Huddersfield. Three big points, please. The Medeski Stadium is packed. It's festive football. I love football at Christmas. Boxing Day and all that. And New Year's Day is fantastic, isn't it? It's, the games just keep coming, keep coming. It really puts a test on your squad. Let's hope we've got a big enough one to cope. I think we have. 
Um, so, yeah, if we can get the win, let me just pause it and bring up the league table. Um, if we can get the win, it would put us four points clear going into the Boxing Day games, which, you know, a little four-point cushion going into the this mad little run that we're going to have now would be fantastic. It would give us a real, real cushion. Um, here we go with the first highlight, James Forrest. Get past your man. Go on, that is it. Pick your man now. Get it in there. Perico with the header and he's put it just over. It was a good early chance. Um, so the last few games we hadn't been playing well, had we? That The last couple on video um, have been really bad. Uh, so we did just go in and we tinkered with the tactic a little bit. Um, we've now gone to stretching the pitch, um, getting the ball out wide and things like that. And it seems to have worked. Um it's gone it's gone pretty well in the last few games as you saw in this fixture roundup what happened there that cross almost dropped in Fredericks had a good tackle um yeah so it's just we've got good wingers it's time to utilize them properly and get the ball out there uh, we haven't changed passing style or anything like that it's still on retained possession but stretching the pitch is the main thing and telling the the, the wingers to stay out wide dribble out wide don't cut in um, and it seems to be working quite well here's Perez Fredericks with the ball in it's headed away it's going to drop for Billing midfield played forward for Aaron Moy James Forrest now there you go get the ball in Perico with the header this time and Manoni tips it over um, good start bright start Perico's had a couple of good headers more to come please so apologies for the, uh, it's been what, two weeks now since uh, since the last episode. Um, I did put out a little channel update. If you haven't watched that, um, it explains it all in there. So go back and, uh, and watch that. But yeah, it's good to be back recording. It's good to have this save back. I've not played FM much recently because of the World Cup and uh, it being summer. So just outside more. Um, that's a aimless ball forward. Moore will clear it up to Manone. Their average age of their defence must be about 37 or something. It's ridiculously old, isn't it? Here's Fidel. Lerva across to Aramoy. Crack one off Sun, he does, and he clears the bar. Moore, long ball forward. Picked off easily by Callas. Here's James Forrest out on the right. Good ball in, looking for Parika. It drops to Aaron Moy. Forrest again. Fredericks to Billing. He can hit them from there, can't he? Oh, he can hit them from there. Philip Billing with a rasping low drive. And it's advantage Huddersfield in the top of the table clash in the championship. It's a nicely worked goal. Uh, Fredericks plays it across. Gets it out of his feet, Phil Billing. And a beautiful, beautiful finish. He's been attracting interest from a lot of clubs as we approach the winter transfer window and you can see why with shots like that what a goal Bicacic um, picked up a booking as you can see there here's his fifth booking of the season so quite conveniently he's now suspended for Boxing Day well played Ermin you, uh, you've done your job there today haven't you that's probably what you set out to do um, if I'd have looked at that I wouldn't have played you today um, but that's okay we've got cover we have got cover Right, it's half time. It's 1 0. Phil Billing's goal is the difference. Um, we're just losing the possession battle a little bit at the minute, but we're doing more with it the, uh, the, when we do have the ball. Five shots, three on target. A couple of good headers from Perica that have, um, have not resulted in a goal. It's not been a stellar performance again, um, but we're winning. So we're doing okay. Um, I'm just going to say don't get complacent out there. It's stressed a couple of players out for some reason. Um, I'm going to say you can still improve. You weren't that bad. You can still improve. And that should be getting through to them. They look okay. Let's get out there for the second half. Steeper Perica kicks off the second half. Can we get the points on the board that will put us four clear going into Boxing Day? That is the aim now. I am happy for this just to fly through to the final whistle. Free kick for Thomas Callas. We're not going to go through straight to the final whistle, are we? Here, at least we have the ball, though. Here's Ayothi Perez. Aaron Moy. Forrest into Billing. First time for Perica, but he couldn't clear. He couldn't keep hold of the ball. Uh, we've got it back in midfield, though. Lovely touch from Moy to Ayothi Perez. And a good shot, which Manoni somehow keeps out. He didn't know an awful lot about that one, I don't think. Um, oh, that league table looks good. Four points clear as things stand. It's very tight at the top. These, that league table is going to change a lot over the next week or so. I can see it happening. Um, everyone playing four or five games in very quick succession. There's going to be a lot of tired players coming, 
when we get through those games. Here's Fidel. Not seen a lot of him today. Lerva infield to Aaron Moy. Is he going to shoot? No, he gives it to Forrest. And it's in for Perez. The shot is on target, but it's well held. Just past the hour marker, and then we're making a double substitution. Um, Chris Lerva, who's not quite match fit yet, is coming off, replaced by Dimitri Mitchell. And Ermin Bacacic, on that yellow card, can't risk going down to 10 men with half an hour to go. So we're taking him off. Roshan Williams, our Manchester United loanee, is coming on. Jose Mourinho has been whinging at me because he's not playing enough. So we're going to give him some game time. but Because I, I quite like to get him permanently, I think. Um, so I, I kind of want to keep Jose. I don't like Jose, but I need to keep him sweet so we can maybe get a permanent deal done. Here's Mitchell down the left. Plays it in for Moy. Ayothi Perez helps it on, but it was an aimless ball. It's cleared away. And Reading have it now. Oh, Pope has got there ahead of Mitchell. It's played four for Bodvarsson. And Sonny Aluko is in. Oh, and he scored from a tight angle. What a finish from Sonny Aluko. It's a big, big equaliser for Reading. And it's their first shot on target, in actual fact. How many times does that happen? It's a lovely ball forward for Bodvarsson. And then he just plays it in. And it's a thumping finish. Fernandez should have done better. Our third and final change sees Callum Gribbin replace Ayothi Perez, who's just been booked. Um, so I, I, while I would have liked to bring off maybe Phil Billing or James Forrest to give them a rest, I need to keep 11 men on the pitch. So the yellow carded players had to come off. And again, he's got Boxing Day off. Gribbin with the free kick and his first it contribution to the match was almost a spectacular goal it was well held by Vito Manoni he's played it upfield but we've got it back gribbing out to Forrest this game is there for the taking look at the stats we have been the better team we deserve to be putting the points on the board but you can only do it if you score more than the opposition can't you and here's Bakuna bringing it away good tackle on him by Williams but he managed to keep hold of the ball Popa into Vandenberg for Bodvarsson now oh and Aluko's in again and Fernandez this time does save almost the exact same blade of grass that he scored from wasn't it it's a very tight angle Fernandez this time got the better of it but the play is still alive with Sonny Aluko in it goes for Bodvarsson and he heads it over Bakuna in the defensive area, it's a poor clearance and it's a free kick. That's right on the edge of the box. It was McShane on Perica. Look at that. That is right on the edge of the box. What a chance for Callum Gribbin and he's fired it wide. That should have at least put that on target from there. That was right on the edge of the box. Just need to put that one on target and you've got to fancy that would have gone in. We're approaching the final 10 minutes. This is going to end in a frustrating draw, isn't it? Coming up to five minutes of added time. Is there to be a winner in this game? Ryan Fredericks looks for Perica, but he's beaten in the air. Um, I should have had departure in for this game, I think. Here's Vandenberg to Kelly. Popa looks to play in. Moy is just about tidied up. Fernandez clears out to the left to Fidel. Played four for Perica now. Hells, holds it up, but he's tackled. Drops a gribbin though, and Fidel back to Gribbin. Perica's in a bit of space. Oh, and he's pass out to the wing hit Fidel's ankles and it could be a counter-attack for Reading it's Bodvarsson oh Chaibi in space and Sonia Luko has fired it in and Reading are going to go top at Christmas that is so frustrating so annoying it was our attack we we're in such a good position the ball out to Fidel hit him on the legs and it led to Bodvarsson breaking away. And Sonny Aluko has won the game for Reading. How annoying is that? They, they've they certainly pushed forward. But we don't deserve to lose this game. Here's Billing to Moy. Can we get a point now? His ball forward is not a good one. Gunter has it. It's played forward. But Kalas picks it up. And again, we just can't keep hold of the ball all of a sudden. Good tackle, though. Fredericks looks for Perica. Now Gribbin. Perica again gets past his man. Goes back to Moy. James Forrest. Across to Fidel. And the volley is agonisingly wide. Vandenberg in midfield. Less than 30 seconds to go. This is just going to be them seeing out the game, you would imagine. Is there to be a late twist, though? Moy out to Forrest. Infield to Gribbin. Look to try and get it back to him. Uh, we're keeping hold of the ball just about. Forrest back to Callas. Long ball four for Fredericks. He plays it across. Fidel's there. And he has scored with the last kick of the game. We have rescued a draw. 
from the jaws of defeat. Oh, that is an unbelievable end to the game. The clock ticked over to 95 as the ball crossed the line. I thought he was going to be flagged offside, if I'm honest. But Fidel has rescued a valuable point for us. It's a point that will keep us top. Blow that whistle, referee. Blow that whistle. Gunter coming away, trying to sort Reading another attack. They could have one here. It's an awful ball across. He just needed to keep that on the edge of the six-yard box. And they would have won it. But we have taken a point. I thought Sonny Aluko had won it for Reading. But Fidel, as the clock ticked to 95 minutes, has put the ball away for a huge, huge point and what feels like a win, to be honest. Cannot believe we've managed to rescue that in the end. Um, I don't really like any of those. Um, I've got to say I'm happy with that performance because we were the better team. I would have been pleased with the performance even in the defeat because we wouldn't have deserved a defeat. Uh, and I'm delighted. It's when you get a goal back so late on, it feels like a win, doesn't it? I'm so happy with that. And as you can see, it's a huge, huge point that keeps us top just ahead of Reading. Brighton are on 42 points. QPR just a point further back. And we go to Loftus Road in our next fixture, which is a massive, massive game again. Um, because they will go above us with a win, looking at the goal difference. Uh, we then got Bristol City coming up just after that. Um, so let's have a look at the schedule. Um, so yeah, we have... Oops, scrolled the wrong way. So yeah, we've got QPR away. I'm guessing they will be... Oh, we're favourites, apparently. I can't see that being right. It's at QPR. Um, then we've got Bristol City, West Brom at home, who are eighth. And then ninth place, Derby at home. So... Even if we lose at Loftus Road, we've got three home games there that we could win. And then we go to Brighton. Wow. This is just getting ridiculous, isn't it? Um, in terms of the next video, I'm thinking we might do FA Cup. Uh, we've got Premier League Bournemouth coming to town. Shall we have a look, see how they're doing? Oh, wow. They are seventh in the Premier Division. Um, they've had a very good season. In fact, I think... If I'm right in saying, they had a decent season last season, didn't they? Um, where did they... Yeah, they finished seventh last season. So they, they're going well again this time. So that could be a good one to do for the next the next uh, next video, I think. Um, we've got six big league games to play. Hopefully we can get four or five wins in that. Hopefully hold on to the top spot. Um, and hopefully come into that Bournemouth game in good fettle. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy that, smash that like button. Um, subscribe as well if you're not already and as I've mentioned before make sure you turn on the, the notifications click that little bell because that's the only way you can be sure not to miss a video um, again apologies for the two week gap um, in, in videos if you haven't watched the channel update go back and watch that it explains it all uh, follow me on Twitter at Gamer James FM. links below to everything that's going on at the minute including other series and the blog um, and I will see you very soon for episode 17. Can we kickstart a cup run? Let's hope so. See you very soon, guys. Bye-bye.